Good morning and welcome. Uh, I'm Michael Businger and I work for Brigham Genomic Medicine Program. And in the next five minutes, I'm going to introduce you to ANFISA, which is our variant curation tool. Well, there are many variants curation tools out there, and I'm pretty sure that developers for all of them will tell you that the tools are easy to use, user-friendly, and to use a lot of annotations coming from different sources for variant filtration and variant interpretation. But each tool has something unique to them, and I will talk a little bit about what is unique for ANFISA. Uh, first of all, uh, ANFISA supports both clinical and research workflows. Most commercial variant curation tools really focus on clinical guidelines and supporting diagnostics and clinical workflows. In fact, I know only one tool that fully supports research workflow, and this is Seeker from Broad. Uh, we support both uh, cl clinical and research, and moreover, our idea is to use uh, research workflow to develop new clinical rules and new clinical workflows. Uh, we also focus on collaboration between teams, and ANFISA is being developed by an international community of developers coming from the United States, Russia, and Austria. Uh, ANFISA was born out of work on undiagnosed disease, where basically each case, uh, if solved, led it to some kind of new scientific work. So we support crowdsourcing uh, trying to uh, select some unidentified information that can be used by various teams around the world to solve and understand what's actually going on with the patient. Uh, finally, uh, ANFISA applies to genomics uh, techniques that long have been developed for, uh, uh, let's say, business intelligence, uh, and uh, we use them for genomic work. As I said, uh, we use ANFISA uh, as an environment to develop new clinical rules. Uh, and we represent clinical rules as a decision tree to select variants for a manual review by molecular geneticist. And as a development environment, uh, it should support various things. Uh, so first of all, the code is written in Python uh, in a similar way like you use uh, Jupyter notebooks, and then you have a step-by-step -step debugger where you can see what actually uh, happens with your variants uh, while they're analyzed. Uh, here's an example of a clinical rule that we have developed for a hearing loss project. So first we filter, uh, we start with whole genome, which includes about six million variants for a trio, and we filter out those variants that do not pass quality metrics, and then we select out of uh, the remaining uh, 5,000 some, uh, 5 million something, 70,000 uh, that actually fall into gene panel uh, relevant uh, to hearing loss. Uh, the next step would be to look at clean war, and here we immediately select those variants that are uncertain, significant, or pathogenic uh, with consensus in clean war and discard those variants for which clean war consensus is that uh, they're benign. And the next will go to the uh, next step, which is looking at allele frequency using NOMAD. And again, uh, we immediately select the extremely rare variants and discard common variants. And uh, again, uh, those that fall in between go to the next step. And as I said, at each step, we can actually drill down and look at what kind of variants, for example, we discarded at uh, this step, and we see that there are certain genes, certain most severe consequences, uh, and these variants are present in certain databases, so we can actually look and see what we're doing. So ANFISA is available today as a beta release. You can download it from GitHub, and it is used by Sikabu project and by uh, Brigham Genomic Medicine uh, working on UDN uh, projects. And a couple of words about our next steps. Uh, we want to develop an annotation service for ANFISA where you can um, use your VCF and immediately see the results on our website. 
we integrate with Favor database. Favor is a comprehensive human genomics database supported by an HGRI gr grant, and we'll look into integration with Hadoop and support for machine learning. Thank you.